A sugar glider is a marsupial. A marsupial is part of the kangaroo family because they have a, a pouch where they carry their young, which makes them a little bit more unique than other animals. They've got big eyes and they've got gliding membranes, which help them to be able to glide up to almost a football field. They make a lot of unique noises. They bark like dogs, they purr like cats, they chirp, they click, they even do a crabbing noise when they're upset. They are nocturnal, so they like to play at night and they sleep throughout the day, so it makes it fun for people that like to bring their animals with them. They can carry them around in their pocket, them being so small and everything as well, so that makes them pretty unique also. And they're very social too. They'll bond to their owners and also everybody else in the family, so they won't just like pick one specific person in the family. They can bond to everybody in the family, so it makes for a very fun pet. It's important that if um, you're going to have sugar gliders that you have a flight cage, something very big for them. Uh, bigger is always better when it comes to their cages. Lots of toys and pouches which you're going to switch weekly and even every couple of days to keep them entertained and stuff. So that's something you want to do. Feedings and stuff is a little different too because unlike uh, dogs and cats, you, you don't give them their food in the morning for the day, you will give them their food at night because they're up during the night playing and everything like that. So. You'll prepare their meals at around 10 o'clock at night-ish and um, they'll eat throughout the night and then in the morning if you'd like you can give them pellets just in case they get hungry and get up to want to eat and stuff too. Sugar gliders do not do well with water and uh, cannot swim and uh, it's been a common mistake that people will tend to leave the toilet seat open and not realize that sugar gliders, being mischievous as they are, tend to find ways to get out of their cage. Even if you, even if you think you've foolproofed your cage, they tend to surprise you. And I had my, one of my first gliders, actually my second glider ever, Maisie, she got out of her cage and I had a friend sleep over and um, I, had, I had posters in my, in my bathroom and everything saying keep the door closed and the lid down and everything like that but she happened to forget when she went to the bathroom at night and we found her in the morning she had drowned in the toilet and that was really devastating and I don't wish that upon anybody so it's, it's important to make sure there's no still water and your, your house is glider proof that you know you don't want to wake up and find them dead type deals so that's very important. Sugar gliders are very social and like to be with the owners, so it's important to spend a lot of time with them. They also um, like to be stimulated with toys and different things like that, so having forager toys and different things like that helps to keep them entertained. They've got little uh, opposable thumbs, which makes it fun too, so they can undo knots and uh, even unzip zippers and stuff like that, so it's recommended to put padlocks on your cages because they are very mischievous. It's best to keep uh, gliders in pairs. It's not recommended to keep alone because they do get depressed and they'll self-mutilate themselves, so that's something that you don't want. They'll uh, overgroom, um, they end up with bald spots, they'll even eat at their tails and different things like that, so you want to keep them in pairs and once they are bonded to another glider you don't want to separate them as well because that'll provoke more depression and self-mutilation. They tend to get up, they'll eat, they'll play, they'll, they'll try to discover new toys that you've put in, they'll take away some of the toys and take them apart and come bring them to their pouch and stuff like that, kind of like uh, they hoard a bunch of stuff as well, almost like birds. And uh, they tend to play for a couple hours, make noises, talk and interact within like the colony because they do best in pairs as well. And they'll go back to bed for a half hour to a couple hours, get back up and usually come sunrise they'll go right back to bed and they're gone for the day. You won't see or hear from them at all. They like to play with you, they'll play tug of war and different things like that and they absolutely love to cuddle. So that's like the funnest part about a sugar glider. <laughs>